Hey, hello guys, this is Hector J. And on this short video, I'm going to show you how you can create your Kindle paperback cover in just three simple uh, steps and by, uh, by while avoiding to be rejected by the KDP uh, platform. So for this, we will start with the step number one, which is the, to download the cover page template. So in this example, let's so for this example, I had just create a low content book uh, on PowerPoint, and uh, for this example, the page size is a uh, letter size, which is 8.5 by 11 inches, and and this is some data that you will need and. Of course, you will need the the quantity of pages, and on this case, my book has only 125 pages. So let's move on to the step number one. Okay, before we continue, I just want you to know that on the description of this video, you will find a link to a page that I had, uh, where I have compiled on Kindle resources and tools and it's my pleasure to share this with my subscribers and viewers so uh, the first step is to download the KDP cover template so for this you need to click here and this will take you to this page where uh, you just need to uh, enter or select the page size which is 8.5 by 11 and to enter the page count that for in this case is 125 and the page color is white so you just lay you just need to click on download cover template okay okay uh, once you download the zip file and um, zip you will see uh, a, a file that is a png file that oh, as you can see this file is pretty heavy and what I do recommend is you to change the format to GPG which is uh, quite smaller and for this you can just open your PNG file with paint or some other edit, uh, graphic tool and save as GPG or you can use as well some uh, app that is on this uh, Kindle resources uh, in this case is convert PNG to GPG which is a free tool and uh, would, this will help you to save on GPG so uh, once you have your your file on GPG well, something that one one data that you need to check or write down is the spine width. Uh, on this case, the spine is 0.29 inches. You will need this uh, this data on the next step. So let's move on. Okay, the step number two is how to determine you cover size so for this um, there is a formula to calculate the total page width which is in this case is uh, the page size which is 8.5 inches by 2 which is uh, this, the length for an open book as you can see here and then you you need to add the spine size plus uh, 1.25 which is an offset that you need to add always and for the total total page high which is 11 inches you just need to add the offset which is one uh, 0.25 inches so with this data we are ready we are ready to uh, to calculate the totals for the page so uh, so for this i had just created this spreadsheet with some formulas in order for for me or we 
uh, we all to calculate the, the page size. Uh, so in this case, we just need to enter the page dimensions and uh, the spine width. This is the offset. And for the, in this case, the total width is uh, 17.54. And for the page high, this, uh, this will be 11.25. So please write down these two values and we will need those on the next step. Let's, let's move on. Okay, the step number three is uh, how to design your cover page. And uh, for this, well, you can use several apps to design your cover. You can use Photoshop, you can use PowerPoint, you can use Canva, and some other tools that and for this example, we will use Canva, which is a, a free tool. And of course, you will find a, a link on the Kindle resources. So let's move on. Okay, here we are on Canva. And as, as I mentioned before, this is a free tool. You just need to uh, sign up and log in. And on this page, you just need to and click on custom size and you just need to select here inches and then enter the dimensions of your page that in this case is 17.54 and 11.25 you just need to play on quick create new design okay here we are in this is our Canva, and we are ready to start with the design. So for this, we will start with some uh, background. And in this case, and for this example, I I will create a, a simple uh, cover. This is nothing fancy. And for this, uh, I will choose uh, this background. And then I just need to drag and fill the whole canvas, and here we have it. Now I just need to upload the cover template that we download on the previous step. And in this case, uh, well, you just need to click on upload media and uh, choose your file on your computer. And for this sample I already have it here, I just need to click on omit for this, uh, and then I just need to drag to fill the whole. Uh, uh. Okay, the, the re uh, here we have already the, the Canva already in place, the, 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 the template, and the purpose of this template is to help us align the test on the front page. This is the front page, then this is the back page. So, uh, in this case, we are ready to start adding some test or images. And for this uh, example, uh, there are some already uh, templates here. Uh, let me show you this only just for demonstration purposes and okay and here we have it we have our title and some subtitle so you can add some more images right here some test and on the back cover you can also add some test or whatever you like but the, the, as you can see the the title is properly aligned and you won't find any issue on this and the next step is when we are just ready is just to uh, we can just move this and click on the lip and here we have it we our, our book cover is already uh, done and we just need to proceed with download and just click on download and here you just need to select pdf print 
and just click on download and we are done so uh, this is the whole process just for you to generate your your cover page and uh, on this case uh, you just uh, this uh, guarantee that your cover page will not be rejected by the ADP platform and in this case you are ready you are ready to proceed and you can just rename this cover just for you to know which file is which and uh, well if you have any 